Uh, today we're on the sixth week of the rally here in Melbourne in front of the uh, li State Library steps. Uh, we're going to be marching um, as healthcare workers to lead the march because we are the front line um, of, of basically humanity at this stage and unfortunately all the many healthcare workers, over 260 have been killed in Gaza. Uh, we are standing in solidarity with them um, just in the last week. Um, there's been over 10 that have been kidnapped, 10 uh, doctors have been kidnapped uh, by Israeli government. Um, I've got the poster here of just some of these doctors that have been kidnapped. Um, we, uh, we say no to this, we say no to genocide of doctors, no to genocide of healthcare workers. The state in Gaza is, the healthcare situation in Gaza is beyond acceptable, it's beyond belief. The healthcare system is in ruins, it's been, down to, it's been brought down to its knees. Uh, there's no anesthesia, women having caesarean, seven layers of skin uh, being cut open without anesthetics. Uh, you know, many surgeries without anaesthetics. Even a local colleague of mine um, knows a, a doctor who is his, his friend in Gaza. He amputated, he had his own son's amputation done without anaesthetic and then he watched his son die. He will never recover from this. This is, po is post-traumatic stress disorder at, at its core. No one can recover from this. Our healthcare workers in Gaza will never recover from this. They've been traumatised and they'll continue to be traumatised every time they see patients um, in Gaza that have you know, lived through this war, have had amputations, have had injuries and wounds, whether they're physical or psychological. So as healthcare workers today, we're standing in solidarity with our, work, with our colleagues in Gaza. This is in our millions! We are all Palestinians!